All right, so we are approaching escape velocity. And what I mean by that is the biggest airdrop in crypto history. We're going to be breaking it down for you guys, giving you a full insight to it. So make sure and stay tuned. My name is Paul Barron. We'll come back to the tech path. All right, I want to get into a couple of points here. I trust capital. If you guys are looking at long-term holding of your crypto assets and you want to put it in an IRA, this is one of the places to do it. Use our link down below. You can buy, sell crypto, gold and silver, precious metals, along with all coins, all within your self-directed IRA. So make sure and check it out. Use our link. It does help the channel out. All right, let's jump over to the first story here. Bitcoinist hitting on Tether goes nuclear, a billion mint fuels uh, run at record market cap. So a lot has happened. You know, when you look at the idea of Tether in it's kind of a print run, so to speak, this means a lot for, it's kind of like stimulus in the general markets. This does have a lot of fuel for what's happening in crypto. And this could lead into altcoins. Now, altcoins, if you look at the current altcoin season index, as we get a little closer, the way this works, this index, it's basically the 75% of the top 50 tokens out there. If they perform better than Bitcoin over the last season, 90 days, then it's altcoin season. And right now we're seeing some pretty good performance right here at the top 50. So pretty interesting uh, comparison here. All right, and one thing about this is it is on the move right now. It was like 73 uh, just a little bit ago on our research, now already popping up to 76. So is something happening right now as we start to see some movement? Of course, Solana is brewing up for a major airdrop, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about what that means. Here's sentiment, and if you look at what they're claiming, Bitcoin and Ethereum's respective supplies have continued moving off change after the ETF approval, so interesting development. Uh, with Tether seeing nearly a 4% of its available supply come back into exchanges in the five weeks. So are we seeing the potential here for buying power? Buying power means market go up. So that's what we're watching very closely, especially in the activity that we're seeing right now with Bitcoin over 43,000 and leading into what could be a very interesting position for both Solana and a handful of other altcoins uh, as well. All right, so let's lead off with a couple of tweets here. This, of course, is Phantom talking about the uh, Jupiter Exchange launch. Uh, make sure and stay safe because this is, I think, probably going to be one of the most scammed projects out there, mainly because of its size. So just be very, very careful on that. And remember, this is going to be able to be claimed right inside your wallet. So if you're doing this inside of your Phantom wallet, you're safe. You're okay. But be careful on what you are clicking on. So just, just look at that. And the likelihood is we're going to see some pretty good activity on Jupiter Exchange. Remember, this is a comparison to Uniswap, and Uniswap holds the record. So does this outpace what's happening with uh, Uniswap? It's happening over here on T-1, about uh, 10 a.m. Eastern is what we are anticipating. And this happens, of course, January 31st, so tomorrow. Good, good opportunity for you guys to get involved. If you look at the current market, this is where it's kind of pre uh, prepping for trading. And I think this is the key here of where is the safe spot? Some people are looking around that 60% or excuse me, 60 cent range, which is very similar to what Uniswap has done in the past. So there are some potentials here for holding. And this is one of those two, I think, if you've been using Phantom and Solana, you've already seen the speed and the functionality and utility of swapping within Jupiter Exchange. So a super powerful uh, opportunity here. Further into this, I want to get into both Ethereum and Solana and what has been recently going on just here over the past few months is the amount of pacing that Solana has in terms of overall search. This is a big deal because Ethereum, when you look at the size of ETH, the lineage of ETH compared to Solana, this is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty impressive that Solana has been able to even match up with ETH search terms. So that's a big deal. Uh, here's digital asset news. Will Solana make it or will it shut down? Because this is a big question here, you know, from Rob. He kind of hits on it right here. It's, Marty Party is hitting on the whole topic of this is an unprecedented issue in financial history. And I agree with them. We are going to see uh, a pretty amazing thing happen over this next 36 hours to really see both the drop and then what happens after that uh, for uh, both Solana, but also Jupiter Exchange. So I agree with Rob. This is one to be watching very closely going forward. Another tweet I want to hit on, of course, is Honeyland uh, is going to be doing a big launch. Remember, Honeyland is a Solana project, and it's one of those. They're doing a 2023 recap. I think that's happening later today around 4 p.m. Eastern. 
state of the game token, and then what they're building. I have a feeling they are going to be launching something fairly significantly. If you're watching HXD, the token for Honeyland, watch it very closely. Maybe you already hold it because it is one of the tokens that we are holding in our DGEN wallets. So is there going to be something major that gets announced here? I believe there will be. So if you guys aren't following Honeyland, go over to Play Honeyland on Twitter and you can kind of check out what they've got going on. Another thing that's happening right now is Fidelity, of course, has been plugging the GBDC bleed and uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs have been kind of healing with inflows. This is a good thing, I think, overall for market. And I also think this is why you're seeing Bitcoin in its current uptrend right now, tracing over uh, 43K. So a couple of things to be note, uh, noted here is 208 million of inflows right now. Before now, GBDC's outflows had been the major talking point. Now we're talking about that was in, a, in negatively impacting Bitcoin. Now we're talking about inflows, uh, which is going to the top ETFs. And one of the things we're tracking, which is kind of interesting, that Fidelity is seeing so much inflow here. When you look at our ETF tracker, this is over on our market sentiment index. Um, if you're a member, uh, you'll be able to get access to this. Let me show you how to get to it real quick. If you're going into the dashboard, just click that ETF tracker. It'll take you to it. But the point being is this is looking at the current uh, ETFs, including Grayscale, um, of course, iBit with BlackRock, Fidelity right there, FBDC. Now, if you look at the sentiment on this, Fidelity is slightly up right now over BlackRock, and then you've got ARCB coming in number three on sentiment. A couple of others I'll, I'll mention here in a minute of some rates that are being reduced on that, and I would say this is aligned with what we're seeing on sentiment data for sure. This one right here, putting in perspective, nine new ETFs hold more Bitcoin than Tether, Tesla, Block, and all of the public miners combined. That's, this has been three weeks, guys. This is three weeks. So this is a pretty big deal. They'll eclipse um, MicroStrategy maybe later. Uh, they'll get GBDC as well. This could happen maybe in the next four to five months, so, or maybe faster, depending on the, how this market moves. Invesco, on their news, is they're reducing their rates. So um, they're going down to a 0.25 instead of the 3.9. So I see the fee war. This is something that we talked about quite a bit. Fee wars are a big deal here. And I think the reason behind these fee wars is, remember, if they start to capture clients, the next ETF that rolls out, probably Ethereum, maybe XRP, there's going to be some opportunities here to really continue to gain you know, inflows from a lot of this assets under management. So be on the lookout right here. Invesco's uh, dropping their rates. So are we going to see more rates coming down? If you go back to our tracker, this will give you a quick, let me zoom in on that a little bit. This will give you a little bit of a, a rundown on the, the current rates right there. So you can kind of see what's happening there. So Invesco's coming off that 3.9 right there down to 0.25. Just uh, a heads up on that. Let's go to Solana and look at DeFi, Llama. And if you look at just the past four to five months, you can see this movement right here on total value lock. And this is very sensible because, guys, Solana's been going up. So why wouldn't you be staking it? That's one of the things that, of course, you can do inside Solana, the Phantom app, or if you want to do something within some of these validators that are out there. This is a great opportunity. And I think we're continuing to see this kind of, um, you know, value lock that uh, is starting to compete maybe at the, the likes of what's happened with uh, Ethereum. Just to give you guys some screenshots of what's happening over on Jupiter, when you go to jupe.ag, this is where you would be able to check it out. So you'd go right there and be able to get to some of these. I did some screenshots, so this shows you a little bit about when this is going to hop happen. Right now, as of the time we did this, around January 31st at 10 a.m. Eastern. So be on the look for that. If you're going into uh, claiming, you can. Uh, so you can actually go in and claim if you've got that in your uh, Solana, or excuse me, Phantom Wallet is connected. And then, of course, the cool thing is you can go ahead and already set up your limit order. Now, this is very important because there's only a buy order on this. So the likelihood is there's probably an existing floor that seems to be established here. Very possible this could be an up-only project. So we're watching this one very closely. And, of course, Jupiter, Jupe is going to be one, I think, that will everyone will be talking about in the next few weeks. Possibly much like Uniswap has been. So again, huge, huge event happening this week for crypto. And if you guys are aware of this, good for you. You've been watching our channel. Maybe you're not subscribed though. So I ask that you just do that one thing right now. Hit the subscribe button. 
you're going to get a lot more videos and hopefully we come into your algorithm and give you insights on things like this that are happening. If you're not in our diamond circle, make sure and get in on that as well. It's a great place to get additional content. We do a couple of podcasts and more research over there. So make sure and check that out. And of course, catch me out there on X. I'll see you next time right here on TechPath.